Well, I did a video where I took this catalog right here and just kind of paged through it piece by piece and uh, took a picture of each page, strung them together. And as I was doing that, I kind of recognized that maybe a little more information might be of use. So I have this 1958, which I've already put up, and I'll do another version of that, I think, with a little bit of commentary. 1959, this happens to be in 1962, and you may or may not have figured out by now that I'm kind of a Lionel Alco uh, fan. <laughs> I hesitate to say alcoholic, but, you know, kind of coined that phrase in that first video there. And it's interesting because I would say that the late 50s was the heyday for Lionel as a toy train manufacturer. And then somewhere between 1959 and 1962, of which that's what this catalog is, they decided as a company to diversify to everything from weather stations to chemistry sets. And the 1959 catalog actually has some of my favorites in it. And of course, the 1962 catalog does. I've already shown that with the... 232 New Haven Alco. But 1959, that's when they came out with the War Bonnet Santa Fe Alcos. But also, 1959 is when they came out with the uh, Blue Boston and Maine. And those two Alcos are going to be the main players in this next video. My Alco East versus Alco West video. This is a head in for. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go and do this catalog as well because there's quite a few differences between the 58 and 59. They introduce some really cool stuff. And I think the other piece of the puzzle, and I'm not quite sure if I should get into it because there's a lot of people online who've done a lot of history, but it kind of strikes you. If you're a history person, the parallel between the um, the Lionel product line and what was happening in history. And I think one of the major events was, well, actually, there's two that really changed the nature of the country and politics, but also the railroads in particular. When Eisenhower did the interstate system, that basically spelled doom to the passenger side of the railroad industry. I mean, Amtrak is a shell of what it used to be. There used to be a train station and passenger service to most of the small towns in America, and that's all gone. And a lot of that's due to the interstate system, for sure. Um, but also because the interstate system and the automotive industry grew up together and basically took away the desire for people to go through the problems of getting a ticket and getting on a car and waiting and stuff like that, trying to work their schedule around the trains. So the interstate system and the effect on the automotive business, but trucking in particular, had huge implications and impacts on the railroad industry. And Lionel kind of mirrors that with some of the stuff they have. But the other one was, was the space race between the United States and Russia. And all that interest in the country about technology, rockets and airplanes and all that stuff. And that certainly did find its way into the Lionel catalog. So you're sort of peering through, you know, a marketing organization's interpretation of what people are interested in based on the current events of their time with the Lionel company and their catalogs. And I kind of find it a little bit sad in the sense that in in the 1962 catalog there was just a whole section um of just science kits and basically educational tools and what parent doesn't want their kids uh to learn reading writing in arithmetic but science in particular and these guys had really come out with a whole series of products uh, that were basically 
designed to not just have kids have fun, but educate them in physics, chemistry, and other things. And I thought that was really cool. It didn't really take traction. It didn't work. Eventually, Lionel went out of business. And a lot of their drive to do that was because of the uh, reduced interest in the railroads, especially with the kids. And uh, there were other things happening, but their reaction was to try to go in that direction. And, you know, interestingly enough, it was the wrong one. Now, I'm going to argue that the Lionel train sets of the past really did a lot of base education to a lot of young fellows and young ladies in the sense that learning about electricity, physics, traction, stuff like that with a hands-on um, set of trains really, you know, made a lot more impact than I think people are willing to admit. It certainly did with me. I learned about traction and power and electricity and um, a lot of those things that carried through the rest of my life because I was in the technical world for a pretty long time. And I really do believe that the Lionel train sets that I had as a kid were sort of a launching pad intellectually to a lot of the stuff that I did as an adult. So anyway, with that as a lead in, what I'm going to do now is uh, do a kind of a train run, East Coast road name Alcos versus West Coast. And uh, 